winter. We've got a video to come to on this. I'm going to come to that in a second. <coughs> There's a young lady in the front row who's had a hand up for a while. Just relating back to your original assertion regarding technology making religion obsolete, can you really say that technology will answer the kind of timeless questions that religion is always supposed to be able to answer, like what happens after death, or more subjective questions regarding morality and things like that? Yes, I think that experiences of awe are, to me, the most sort of transcendent experiences. I never had them from religion, but I certainly get them when I watch you know, the Hubble IMAX 3D film. And when you consider <laughs> what the Hubble is, it's an instrument of man. It's an optic nerve floating in space that allows us to mainline the whole of time through our own optic nerves, to quote my friend Ross Anderson. And so when you consider what that does, to be able to gawk at all of space and time and fit that something as vast as that through something as small as our brain to contemplate and push our perceptual boundaries to such a degree that we have to upgrade our mental schemata just to accommodate the scale of that experience, I say that expands our consciousness. I think that is a psychedelic experience that is an experience of that she which exceeds to, our intellectual capacity. She wants, to, she wants to come back at you. Which is what, which is what, <clears throat> okay, yeah. which is what Joseph no, Campbell no, no. refers to as God to begin with, that okay. which exceeds our intellectual capacity. That idea of having a transcendent dimension is one of the key facets of religious identity. Right. Except religion is never based on any fact or science. At the same time, that. It's only, it's only really one part of what religion is, especially institutionalized religion is in society. So, for example, there's other sort of questions about ethics and morality. Oh, also, yeah. You Alan could de never Botton's prove... book, A Religion for Atheists, just came out. It's a fantastic book. It says that secular atheistic I know, I know, people know. still need <laughs> temples of <laughs> contemplation. But it would be impossible to list all the different parts of religion, and technology definitely couldn't add to them all. Like, religion never is be a able technology. Say... It's just a primitive technology. It's a you're cultural gonna, you're technology. Gonna be a... Maybe it's a primitive religion. <laughs> You, you are going to be on the panel soon. I know that. <laughs> um, we've got another video question on this subject. It comes from Jared Smith in East Brunswick, Victoria. 